And then if we were to compare this then to say the before photo, uh, zoom in a little bit on this and compare what we've got through there. Now by obviously having this come forward, it makes the forehead not look anywhere near as big. It slims the face down a lot more. When we open this all up, it makes the chin area look a lot more rounder, gives it a little bit, looks a lot more plump, whereas actually when we've got this all coming down here and a lot slimmer through the sides, it just then brings that all in and cinches everything in quite nicely. Okay, so with Alex's hair now, what we've got real grown out length is what we've got all over. We're gonna take this a lot shorter. We're gonna bring it down to a two on the back and side so it's got that nice flatter silhouette. We're gonna tape it out really nice and tight and through the sideburn area and then through this nape area, taking that all the way then down to skin. And through this top area, we're gonna have this so it all sort of sits forward, sits nice and full. We're gonna have it so it can sit really textured. We're gonna bring the fringe a little bit shorter than what we have in through the interior lens, just so that that can sort of be pushed over either way and not really feel as though it's hanging over either side, but it can have that fullness and that body allowed to come out with it. So starting off, we're gonna section this off into a nice square shape. We're gonna go with the growth pattern. The crown can then come and sit back through here. And then working from the crown, we're gonna work into the recession area and a straight line, I'm going to comb all of that down. So we're going to start putting our guideline into this length area. I'm going to work with a diagonal forward section. We're going to come take that length off and that's going to be our guide of what we're going to then work our clipper work in towards. So this is what's going to keep, this is what's going to create the nice square masculine shape we want to have and build up in through this side area. We're going to keep quite a bit of weight in through here so we can keep that, keep that nice solid shape. And work back into that crown area there. And just follow that guide coming back. Okay, so we can see where this crown then spirals off in through here. I'm going to follow this round. I'm going to pull that down into where we've created that guide in through here. I'm going to keep a nice fullness in through there, so I'm going to pull this down to this angle. You can see as that wants to keep spiraling around, we're going to follow that round with it and keep pulling it to that same direction. Got our guide underneath there. And working around the head shape. So now we've got this two, we're going to work that up into this length which we've got through there. So that's going to be our guideline. And now as I come up, that's just going to sit into it. And we've got that then length which we've got right there. Got that coming off. So floating up off that head shape, to build that nice silhouette up. Now we've got that skin in through there. I'm going to go with that 0.5. I'm going to just knock that just up from there. I'm going to go at a slight angle coming in through here. And we've got that zero. Just then going to eradicate that line out into that bottom area. We've got the one guide. We're going to open it up. I'm just using more of that corner in through there just to take some of that weight out to soften it down. Go down, close it down into the one. I'm gonna go for that one and a half card now. Close that down. And you can see now obviously it's a bit darker in through here, so I'm just going with that corner of it. Take some of that out. and just soften that into it and through there. We've got this coming around here, so actually you can see that natural flow, it's just that sort of corner which needs coming off through there. With that, I'm just gonna soften it with these clippers, just so that flows with it. Let's clean up this all up behind here. 
And with that comb, just tuck it out. You can see there's some longer ones there and you just need to take off. And now with that tapered out, it's just a case of just blending that and softening it with the scissors. So we're going to go up with a bit of scissor over comb, trying to keep that bottom blade static and keep that top blade moving. So just working with the thumb. This that can just softens down now. So it keeps that weight in that area for it falling forward, but it gets rid of any of the excess heaviness. Now, if you get your guide at the start right, there shouldn't be too much blending that you need to do because that two just then softly blends into it, takes all that weight off, and it's now just a case of just softly refining it through there. I can just see in there, we've got that nice flatness really built up in through there. So we've got that real nice masculine edge built up. Again, so we want to be focusing more on this area rather than here because this area you can see it's already slightly lighter in through there so in through the back of the head this is where the density changes and becomes a lot darker so we want to focus more on making sure that we get that transition there so it matches what we have in through this lighter area here. Okay so we can see this flows around nicely but there's just this extra corner of weight which we've got through the bottom there which is going to elevate and we can see that's where it is where that's the length we want so all of this is excess which I'm just going to snip off in through there. Do that then flowing it around here so it flows with that natural head shape with it and the growth patterns you've got and you can see straight away that already looks a lot better than what we have in through this area. Again, that just flows in there. And this last couple of sections where there's an extra corner of weight, which we've got there. We can lift that up, and there's the guide. And there's one more through here. Pull this back. Got that guide underneath it. There we go. It's just that extra corner of weight. And that flows in there. I'm just going to scissor over comb just to blend that into the sides into that length we've got there. You can see where this weight is in this because the growth pattern is coming through here there's this extra corner of weight which is built up which if that was sitting down would be quite nice but because it wants to kick back it all then builds up in this area so i'm going to come down this way pull this out there we go so there's that extra corner of weight there we're going to take off interesting question oh that was siri <laughs> and we've got that bit coming there that extra corner of weight I can just sit softer into that area there nicely. Now, cutting the top, we're going to section this off into the profile line. We're going to cut this, get this right into the center. Come all this way to the side. Coming through the right side, section that off and that can then comb all the way down through there. Now the length that we've got here is what is then going to dictate the whole length of this top area. So we want to keep some form, so obviously this is very long of what we've got here now. So the shape which we're going to put in through this top area is a little bit of a round shape like what we've got through here. So it keeps some fullness and texture through here, but then just gets gradually less into that front area. So. I'm pushing it there. That looks quite a nice length through that area. I'm going to cut this straight across, pulling that up out from the head. 
And now we can see it's gradually coming down in through this way. That came over to this side. Coming in through here. You can see my finger angle is mirroring the head shape. I can comb over. And coming up through this last section. Coming in through there. And that can then just all comb over onto that next side. So now when I'm cutting this, I've got the guide right from in the center, but then also I've got this, cut, this guide from behind as well, from the previous section that we've cut. So that's then gonna join up both ways then through there. We're gonna go straight across. So actually the shape which we've got on top is actually round going this way, but it's actually square going across here. So I'm pulling this up. We've got the guide in the middle, the guide behind it, nice and clean. That then comes off, section goes forward, pull this out, that comes from the guide behind. And there we go, so we've got clear guide from both angles. Pulls across. Again, just gradually moving forward with that. Again, we've got the guide from both angles. So that guide is traveling the whole time. And now we're going to pull that up. So obviously with the head shape, you can see obviously this really rounds in forward through there as everyone's head does. So now as opposed to pulling it up, we need to obviously make sure that it is still following that shape. And we've got the first guide, the second guide there. It goes forward down so. And again with this last little bit, pulling that out forward. Just going to section that middle off. It's going to flip over to the left side. We can then do exactly the same on this other side. Okay, so now by cutting that square shape, we've got quite a lot of disconnection and hangover in through here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to connect that in. I'm going to work with that forward diagonal so that we can keep some fullness in through the sides and it really allows this area to sit with that nice solid silhouette. So in through here, we're going to then section that coming forward. We've got that area. We're going to connect it into what we have underneath, into that graduation which we cut earlier, and that can come in through there. So it's, so it's building that shape up, moving that again forward. We've got that nice shape coming there. And then for this last section, where then we're trying to have that corner at this front fringe, just going to keep that down. So we're going to, as opposed to lifting that up. So if we were to lift that up, all of that weight would come off where the guide is underneath. But actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that down. So it's just that corner that comes off in through here. So it keeps that fullness in through there. Not too much excess, so actually it meets into that length which we have in through here and sits and ties in there really nicely. Okay, so what we've got through here, we can now see that just a little wispiness in through there. We wanna keep it textured, but this is a little bit too broken up in through there. So I'm just going to come into it, chop into it like so. Don't want to go round into that, so we're going to keep it so it comes down into this angle. So what we're going to do to, so to style this, I'm going to use a little bit of paste. I'm going to put this in whilst the hair is damp, so we just add a little bit more moisture into the hair. I'm not going to use crazy amounts, but I just want to add enough to give it a little bit of body. I'm going to diffuse dry this. So I'm going to make sure, we want to do it whilst the hair is still on the damp side so that we can get an even distribution. Coats all of the hair. Make sure it works it all the way in. So an alternative to this, you could put a little bit of sea salt spray in first, but I'm going to put a little bit of pacing so it's got a little bit more, a little bit more hold and can get a little bit more of a piecier texture to it. And with this diffuser attachment, that just goes onto the hairdryer. Now, this is great because this allows the, the curl, the texture to come out a little bit because what it does, it doesn't blow the hair so aggressively. It comes out very softly. It just diffuses, the, diffuses it as the name would suggest. So I'm just going to place this on and we're just going to rotate it around.
As you can probably tell, this wasn't my best video. I got a little bit frustrated. It's a new type of content for me. So I wasn't quite used to the right camera angles and the way that I talked. And I didn't round up the end of the video. So I'm doing this a few days later after editing most of it. I'm gonna talk through a couple of the photos of the final look, which we've got on my laptop here. Okay, so with this photo on the right here, we can see now we're taking this all the way down to skin and through there, built that nice transition up. By going the two in the sides, we wanted to build up a little bit more fullness in through this side, so it allows us to keep a little bit more weight in through the corners. We can see we've really built that nice corner up on this side here. The top, we've cut it down, still allowed a lot of that texture and the volume to really come out through there, but got it so it keeps weight in through the front, but it's not too heavy in through there. We can see how now all that body and all that texture comes out, and it's got all the fullness at the very bottom, but it doesn't really look too heavy. Exactly the same as what we've got on this left side as well really got that nice silhouette silhouette built up in through here the head shape really comes around nice in through there that volume can come out really nicely keeps all the fullness by using that diffuser we can see that it really allows this natural texture just to come out the paste that we used it gives it just a little bit more definition a bit more piecier texture to it and then we can see just gently faded then down into the beard so it's got that lightness in through there blends down into the beard and then blends up and then if we're to compare this then to say the before photo, uh, zoom in a little bit on this and compare what we've got through there. Now by obviously having this come forward, it makes the forehead not look anywhere near as big. It slims the face down a lot more. When we open this all up, it makes the chin area look a lot more rounder, gives it a little bit, looks a lot more plump, whereas actually when we've got this all coming down here and a lot slimmer through the sides, it just then brings that all in and cinches everything in quite nicely. And yeah, when you then compare them side to side, I think this is, yeah, a real nice change. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you would like to see any more of these videos, if you enjoyed this one, or if you've got any pointers of how I can do this better, it would be massively appreciated. 100% this video has made me realize that I'm definitely gonna get someone on board to, to help edit and record the videos because just so that I can focus way more on the actual cutting of the hair and talking through the hair as opposed to having to work up, worry about the right camera angles and worry about, oh, this mic isn't wireless, so it's getting all tangled up everywhere. That's going to be the next investment as well, a wireless mic or a mic which connects into the, my back pocket, which I can have, which doesn't connect to the, to the camera. But hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Have a brilliant rest of your day. Much love, Elliot.